today we've got a bit of a sad day. It's the last day that I'll be going to my rehearsal room. The building has been demolished and I'm going to play my bagpipes the last time and I'm taking you on the journey with me. So I hope you enjoy. This is me now in my rehearsal room for the last time. It's a bit of a sad thing really. <laughs> but I thought I'd give it a, the fitting send off and play a few more tunes for the last time. In case I haven't mentioned it before, the reason I started to learn playing the bagpipes was to play at my own wedding. While my wife and I, we wanted a piper to be at our wedding, I quickly <laughs> thought about what it would be like if I would learn it myself because I obviously enjoy bagpipe music as, as does my wife. I contacted pretty much the only person in Vienna actually giving regular lessons and luckily he decided to take me on. <laughs> I practiced for 22 months before my wedding without anyone knowing and got to play there for the first time in front of a crowd at my wedding. I also gave a short interview about this experience on my Pipe School's YouTube channel, which you can see here. And the whole thing would not have been possible without this rehearsal room. So I came here to practice at least two, if not three times a week. And on top of everything else, it's rather close to where I live. It's only a 10 minute drive. And cost wise, it was okay. On top of everything else, it is literally just a hundred meters away from the wedding venue. So this was perfect for the wedding day where both myself and my whole band were able to leave our instruments and equipment here so that I went, we had the ceremony, took photos, etc. And then in the afternoon as a surprise, I snuck away, came here because it was only a two minute walk got prepared, warmed up my instrument, got everyone else because they had not been at the wedding yet and then we, we marched into the venue playing our pipes which was absolutely a brilliant moment for me. So having a rehearsal room was invaluable for me. Although I can't practice at home, the neighbours would complain, quite rightly so. <laughs> so I couldn't do without it. I wanted to pay tribute one last time. Don't worry though, I've already got a new rehearsal room lined up. The same guy luckily has got another one that he is able to rent to me. But still, it feels a bit sad because this is basically where it all started. Okay, pipes are warmed up. I shall be playing two songs, both got a farewell theme, I'll call it. The first one, to me, is a bit more hopeful. <laughs> it's at least a bit lighter in tone. It's called Farewell to Nig. It's a march song, marching song. It's a bit longer. I don't think I've played on the channel before. I hope you enjoy. And I hope it works on the first time. <laughs>
worked on the second try, luckily. <laughs> Although my main camera did not go until the end, so that's why I had to switch to my second camera here. <laughs> Hope that was okay, it wasn't too distracting, but there you go. Okay, and I suppose the best way to finish this off is with what most people, at least in Austria, most people want playing on a bagpipe, which is Amazing Grace. Unfortunately, it seems to be the only song they know. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful song, it's just, it's like, are you aware there are a lot more beautiful songs out there than just Amazing Grace? But obviously, it's well known, popularised through film and TV, obviously. Thank you for watching, thank you for saying goodbye to my rehearsal room together with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and of course I will be reporting future bagpipe songs from the new rehearsal room. Take care, bye. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Bye bye rehearsal room. <laughs>